Hi, I'm Pastor Joseph from Culpeper Presbyterian Church. Our congregation is called to cultivate a community of faithful disciples, and that includes our online community as well. Each month, we'll upload a video devotional led by one of our members so that we can mutually encourage one another while we're together in this digital space. Be sure to follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our opportunities to learn, live, and share the teachings of Christ. Now, here's this month's Love from Locust in Maine. This month's devotion is called Stop, Breathe, Pray, and it comes from devotionsbychris.com. I, like you, have a pretty busy day and week ahead of me. From the moment I woke up this morning, I started thinking of all the things I need to do to accomplish everything today. My mind races to find solutions to schedules, conflicts, deadlines, and how to be in two places at once. I've got a to-do list a mile long and a very short time to accomplish it. With all of that happening, do I have time for God? It's tough not to put God on the back burner on busy days. He's the easiest one to reschedule. But he's the last one I should reschedule. He'll understand, I reason in my mind. I'll read my Bible and pray later, I tell myself. The truth is that I won't have time later either. If I don't make him a priority now, I won't make him one later. If I don't slow down now and take time to reflect on him and his word, I won't do it. God called, told David in Psalm 4610, Be still and know that I am God. David was a king, and I'm sure he had a lot on his plate too. He would cry out to God in times of need and celebration. He would throw those 911 prayers up to heaven like you and I often do. God, please, I have to do a lot to do today. Help me to get it all done, is what we pray. God wants more than that. He wants us to stop, take a moment, and spend some time with him. In the world we live in, it's easier to mix up the temporary with the eternal. It's easy to reverse their importance. Today, stop, breathe, meditate on his word, and thank him. Rest in his arms before you do anything else. Give him more than a 911 prayer and truly thank him for another day of life. Thank him that you even have things on your schedule. I need to remember to know that he is God, and really that's what matters more than anything else I'll accomplish today.